this is Frank at B. Young RV in the greater Portland metro area, Milwaukee, Oregon. Today I get the privilege of showing you a 2014 uh, Coachman Leprechaun. This is the top of the line Class C by Coachman, uh, the Leprechaun. And this happens to be on the Ford E450 chassis, the preferred chassis for Class C's. You'll notice the one piece fiberglass cap on the front instead of a rolled over piece of fiberglass. We come down alongside here. We have sideboard cameras, so when you turn the turn signal on, you can see who's on your side. Of course, uh, breakaway Velvac mirrors, standard in the industry, the best it's made. I used to sell those in the trucking industry. Fiberglass running board, nice and solid. This happens to be in the Carmel graphics package. Looks like paint, but it's high gel coat uh, siding here is a Carmel color with vinyl not too bold of vinyl striping on it. Electric awning, it'll be the Dometic electric awning, very nice awning. I do notice it's a full length over the whole coach. Um, they do have a center support up there, it really makes it nice so it locks in tight when you're traveling. Great job by Coachman. Down here, of course, you'll have your propane fill. Don't have to pull the tank out like travel trailers, quick fill. Got the outside entertainment center here with speakers, DVD player, and auxiliary hookups out here, the RCA plugs. And of course it locks nice and tight and just drop it out of the way. Down here we'll have a little storage box, galvanized, nice and deep. Suburban furnace out here, easy access for techs. I do like it when they're outside here uh, instead of uh, having to go through the inside. We do have the Michelin tires on it and it looks like we had the brand new MS2 series which according to my sources they're good for about 70,000 miles so Michelin's I have had uh, two sets on one of my motorhomes I got 110,000 miles and I just put new ones so that's 55,000 on there uh, of course we have uh, right air uh, airbags in here in case you overload it a little bit you can balance it out that comes on this unit of course, more cargo over here. Well, this is going to be an outside kitchen. This will slide out. Folds over. Got a nice table. That wasn't too bad. There's a little uh, two burner cooktop for it. So you got a little work area outside here. Drop it. Hold the faucet down, shove it back in. And of course the two burner, it is a Coleman, is in here. Um, you'll use bottles with it. It's right in there. Storage way it comes out. Everybody that's been camping knows what one of those is. Okay, um, back here we do have a refrigerator to add into it. It has a little freezer. Now this will work off your generator, short power, it's not 12 volt but 110. But it does add some nice features back here to keep the kids outside or whatever and if you're uh, out on the table you got your drinks right there and then we switch to the back here um, the coachman product the leprechaun is a, uh, a vacuum bonded uh, a motor home these walls are all solid the slide out walls side walls and flooring and they use a product called Asdel which is a fiberglass product the siding here, this high gel coat uh, fiberglass siding, there's no wood backer. Less apt to ever have delamination. It's a man made porous material. Plus, it lightens the load because wood weighs more, so we get more cargo carrying capacity out of a, a Coachman uh, Class C motorhome or a Class A motorhome. And we have a lot of uh, Coachman uh, Class C motorhomes in stock here at B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. Of course, you have access back here. This is Rotocast, easy to wash and clean. You got uh, a couple different boxes back here. They do have drain holes in there. So you have access here and we have access from the other side. Doesn't this look great with this color? A uh, 5,000 pound hitch with a seven way bargeman plug comes with it. You got a little skid bars if you do happen to get in a steep driveway. We have the LED lights back here. They're gonna last forever. Well, again, guarantee that. Backup cameras up there. And even those running lights up there are LEDs. I have known a Coachman motorhome and I got the LED package. It's great. I think the guy at the camp host down there at Devil's Lake asked me to turn off my porch light and my running lights because it was in his bedroom. 
he was two places over. Of course, uh, out here we have, uh, you know, the black flush, the city water hookup and the tank fill, outside shower, gas fills on this side, cable hookup. We do have uh, an interior compartment to hook up for the, uh, the sewer system, not too bad to get to. And I'm gonna explain when we get inside the benefit of not having the huge box storages underneath the, uh, uh, the coach. Cable hookup here, it's a 30 amp service. Uh, again, uh, we have a nice big slide out here. These are solid walls, again, vacuum bonded. This particular unit will use the Swintex slide mechanisms, which you can see here on both these slides. What that allows is lighter weight, and uh, we can get taller slides like in this big one here. This is the bed slide. You'll see slide toppers on the Leprechaun, both of them. You get a lot for your dollar with the Coachman Leprechaun. So that just about does it here. Let's go inside. Something new is this cover. Uh, these are being brought in with the windshield cover out front, which is really great. You still get a privacy curtain here, but when you have this cover, you can leave this open, especially if you did happen to have a kid with you. They like to sit up here and play, all right? So you get a cover with these. It's all magnetic on the side, no snapping. Of course, you can hold 350 pounds, can sleep up here. You know, this is like eight feet across here, so you got, and you got some decent headroom. Uh, of course, the dash, the Ford, pretty common up here. It does have the Jensen uh, radio and a backup camera. It is colored with sideboard cameras again and remote control mirrors heated. The big thing with the Ford for this year is, at least with Coachman, is they have put swivels only on the Ford and the domestic chassis, so it really sets the Ford out. And you can see I got the chair turned, okay? Come up here, turn it. Okay, lock it over, we've moved it over. So, great. And then of course, you can slide it forward and back. That's a great thing. All right, so as we move over here, nice radius cut door, two steps getting out. There is no step outside, so we don't have to worry about electric step going out, but if you want one, we can do that. Uh, of course, your control panels are all down in here. For the generator, the slide outs, electric slides, as I said before. The hot water heater is gas and electric both and uh, you have a battery disconnect down at the bottom. The other thing is, you're wondering where the TV was. You didn't see it up front, right? Well, we got a TV right here. One nice big TV, look at that. Nice thing about it, you can hide it when you're not using the TV and nobody knows you got a TV in here. But anyway, electric to put it back down also. All right, we have a nice big uh, kitchen countertop in here. Uh, this is a hydrofoil wrap uh, material. Uh, water doesn't seem to affect it. Double deep sink in here with sink covers. You can always store them underneath. And there's plenty of room for a garbage can underneath there. I want you to notice that. Uh, the drawers, of course, we've got roller bearing guide drawers here. Uh, your Jensen uh, uh, stereo system, which is tied to the TV, is right here. Easy to get to, DVD, CD player. Move over, of course, we don't have an oven in this unit. We're going to have a uh, convection microwave. I've used it. I did some uh, biscuits the other day, you know, Bisquick, you know, uh, flaky ones, really nice. I think it took nine minutes and they were ready to go and hot butter. I loved it. Of course, hood top. Got a little more storage in here without the uh, oven. Of course, you got a uh, Dometic refrigerator in here. Great unit. Uh, the place put the bread or whatever up there. Of course, now we do have the leather sofa over here, synthetic leather, um, blosters that aren't locked in. So this is going to be a jackknife sofa, easy to put. You had storage underneath. There's seat belts there. Um, in case you live in Washington, I understand you got to have seat belts for everybody. All right, we got the U-shape. Uh, um, seating area here, this will make a bed. Just pull the two legs, drop the table down in here, and there are seat belts here. This seems to be very popular when you have more than two people uh, because everybody's got a place to seat and it's not crowded on the belly. Nice big window up there. Typical of uh, Coachman products is they have a nice big window. AC in the, uh, throughout the coach. What do you think of this beautiful flooring in here? What aesthetics this has in here? This is the Zanzibar interior with cherry cabinets. But you'll notice a huge mirror over here. One thing it does is uh, 
make the coach bigger, lighten it up. But if you want to comb your hair, I guess you can do that too. And um, in coming into the bedroom back here and the bathroom, we do have a pocket door. Really nice to have a pocket door instead of a curtain. And when you move into the uh, toilet area, we have a China Bowl toilet, a uh, small oval sink, a couple cabinets down below, and a cabinet up above, a couple hooks for towels. Okay. Of course, the shower is going to be a corner shower. Uh, it's got, even got places to put soap on when you're in here and a face cloth. That's kind of new. I have to tell you, my 2013 doesn't have that. Uh, so that's real nice. It's a pretty good sized shower in there. You'll notice a nice hydrofoil uh, nightstand over there. Plenty of room. There's a small cabin above it. And this is a full queen mattress in here, 60 by 80. And then we have cabinets up above. We come over to this other side. Whoever needs this side might need a little more room to get in and out. Got another hanging closet. Nice drawer, rolling bearing guides, not a jerk and lift up. And there's a nice spot up here. Now you don't leave anything there uh, when you're going to travel. You're going to move it, but at night you have it because this happens to be a slide out wardrobe over here. Places for shoes. And we'll check the other side. Oh, even more place for you. Ah, that's going to be closed. I'm not going to put my shoes in there. You can just snap them lock. Pretty nice, huh? Hi again, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater metro Portland area on uh, McLaughlin Boulevard or the old high net, Highway 99 along the, uh, the famous Willamette River. And I welcome you to come and visit the uh, dealership and look at all our uh, Coachman Motorhomes, Class E, Class A's, and we carry other brands also. Uh, we have a huge variety of new and used uh, motorhomes, plus the fact that we're a towable dealer with some of the best product lines in. And if you'd like to uh, contact me personally, you're more than welcome. You can go to Be Young RV. There's a contact list there, and you can find me there, and, or one of the other great salespeople that we have here. Plus, you know, we do full service on anywhere from thousand dollar used trailer up to half a million dollar motorhome so I welcome you to come here and enjoy a be young you can come out here on your own if you want to wander on your own you're more welcome to do that uh, we find people get a lot more relaxed when they get to go through the coaches at their uh, own leisure but if you need the help you have experienced sales staff here thank you